Brendan, what's cracking, my guy? Um, you know, just waiting for Wealthy. Where is he at? I think he ran off screen. He got a package in the mail today. He wanted to show up. Nice. Ah, there we go. Oh, there you go. That's what I got. Ooh, eBay boy. Okay. Oh. What's up, baby? Did you buy a new pair of sneakers what? from their authenticity guarantee program? Yes, I did. I know you got some new Adidas. Let me show you what I got. Break open that box. New balances. I bet 100 to your 20, Brendan, right now. Lay it down. You guys are going to love these. What? Yeah, I got a pair of Jordans. They're from eBay. You bought some Jordans, bro? They're verified. They're from eBay. I know they're 100% real. Look it. It even has the tag on it. On one hand, I don't want to believe this is real because it's you actually buying Jordans. But on another hand, it's eBay's authenticity guarantee program. So I know it's legit. Of course. I only buy real Jordans. That's why I get them from eBay. You bought Jordans? What? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James, baby. Let's do it. And we have with us here today, Max O'Cream. He's got Space Jams there and OG3s. He is. He is a rapper. He's got so many kicks. Let's it looks go. like Nike sponsors him. Max O'Cream. Let's o, go. How are you? Hey. Get him right. Get my boy hey, right. Man, you know what I'm saying? What Speaking we talking Max about? in the building. We in here, man. Big persona of the brand. Uh -huh. hey. We're going to talk about all that. The first thing we want to talk about, though, right away, the sneakers everyone has on feet. So, Welty, what are you wearing? Switching it up once again this week. I got on the White Mountaineering X Saucony Grid. <laughs> Shout out to the good guy, Jay Fustino, for those shoes. Shout out to Jay, man. Shout out to the Saucony family, for sure, for sure. Um, I went Nike, man. I'm doing the Nike SB Blazer uh, Swedes. Swedish, back in the day. Some people know. Shout out to... I can't pronounce his last name, but his first name is Danishel. So shout out to him. That's <laughs> what I'm going to tell do. you. I'm not going to butcher his name. Straight up. I got on the persona shorts. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. the, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and stand oh, up, with stand the, up. You know what I'm saying? With the fours on. So Let's, Let's, Let's go. <laughs> you already know. So usually, like with that, I do like the um, guavas or like, you know what I'm saying, the Travis Scott foes. You know what I'm saying? But... I knew I was going to be on here, so you know what I'm saying? I had to come with it. I'm not even really matching with the shoe. I had to go, you Let know go. what I'm saying? Okay. Easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did not you're come cold, to play. Jack. I you're cold, to Jack. Play, I see how you play. I did not come to play. I got to respect okay. it. I am wearing Reeboks once again. This is the Packer Shoes X Reebok Trinity Premiere from my good friend Aaron KR. Aaron, thank you for making that happen. Appreciate you always. Guys, let's talk sneaker news. The first thing I want to discuss is the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee. As you know, this is the holiday release. You don't even have to check your watch. You know what time it is. You know when they're coming out right around Christmas time, but they are a little early on exclusive access on the sneakers app. I don't need these. The only Jubilee I acknowledge is the one who studied under Professor X. Maxo, I got to ask, I know they used to line up for your mixtapes like it's Jordans in December, but are you lining up for these? No, sir. I don't know. Like. <clears throat> he, he had to clear his throat first. He's ready to go in on these shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're just like one of the most <clears throat> remarkable Jordans of all time to me. So, like, you know what I'm saying? It is certain colorways. I think when they just do, do them, I feel like they're disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel mm -hmm. like they shoot disrespectful to, like, a cool gray 11, mm -hmm. a DMP 11. And it's not even about it being a DMP or a package. It's the original colorways that come with it. Like, once they start making real Jordan 11s look like the fleet market 11s, Mm. I like like original colorways with it. You know, we what don't I'm need that many Jordan Eleven colorways. You only need like five, and then just Facts. rotate them. Thanks. Nah, what what to call it? Um, I think that what you say is is very true. But from just my personal opinion, this colorway right here, I'm all about it. Okay, I, I'm just all about it. I'm just all about it. All black, or whatever. I actually tried to get them on the sneakers app. It kind of just popped up. I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to get these. Or whatever. I just think it's a cool shoe. I had everything that we grew up on and that we love. I had right. it and I know what it means. You know what I'm saying? But for me, in order to grow and adapt, I feel like you got to embrace some new things. Not all of it. I know like you got some power lace in the 11s. And I like the technology in it, but the colorway's stupid. Just new colorways or whatever. Like I feel, I always think about it from the standpoint of if I was 16 all over again and I seen these, I would ever like what I would do to get these. I, don't, I mean, you I, could definitely swag it out. I see what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? It just, I know little, how you do it. Shoot, I know how little you studio do it, shoot. You know what I'm saying? I really want to hoop in these. You know what I'm saying? Put on some little black and gray Gucci socks or some black home brand or something. You know me. 
or whatever. Just, you know, kick my shit one time. It Fuck just up. feels like this colorway is like, it's so much of like a layup for Jordan brand that they should have just done something a little more interesting with it. It's just like a black. I know that the, the script up the sides from the original, but I don't know. It's just, it's a black and silver shoe. You're right. No, you're definitely right. I'm telling you, bro, you're, everything that y'all saying is right <coughs> about this shoe. It's nothing to get killed about. It's nothing to be lined up around the corner about. But I just think that it's just something real clean about this shoe. It's just real clean and straight to the point. Why do people like the Space Jams outside of, like, if Jordan didn't wear it in the Space Jam? Like, they just drop normally. It ain't nothing but an all-black shoe with a blue thing on the back. I got to stop you right there. You can't be comparing the Space Jams to them. <laughs> and it's just like, you know what I'm saying? You came, my boy. All right. Nah, if, jo if Jordan did it, if Jordan didn't wear the Space Jams and Space Jam, and they just came out normally, yeah, whatever. We We're still going to like, the moon I, like with I said, it. I, I'm gonna get them. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that like it ain't no hype behind these. So we like, bro, why y'all doing this for? Next bit of secret news: Michael Jordan's original jersey that he wore for the shattered backboard is being put up to auction. It's rumored to go for around three hundred thousand dollars. Max, so I know you're a big Jersey guy, even though you're not from New Jersey. Right, right, right. Big shattered backboard guy. Are you blowing the advance on this jersey? What's up? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jordan the Double, man. Hell no. Uh, yeah. 300K. Fuck that. I go buy some land. You had a Shout lot of jerseys back in the day, right? I know you were big on the little flip yeah, jersey. Yeah, man, I'm going to come clean, though. Man, because, like, I used to thrift for them. But now I come across, like, a USA Olympic jersey that's worth, you know, so all kind of money. I done got it from like 50 cents from like $3 from just drifting. You were in Value that's Village. Right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I ain't never spent 300K on no goddamn jersey. But I salute Jordan, Amen. you know what I'm saying? Me that's neither. a raw jersey and that's a raw collector's piece though. I don't need this. Nah, that's the only jersey I need that's is that road trip out there to pick up a PS5 in a random warehouse. So I'm good on this. <laughs> so Maxo, let's get to it, brother. Yeah, yeah. Before you became a collector, I feel like for anybody, you got to start off having a first, your first appreciation for sneakers. Where did that come from? Who did it come from? How did it come? My mama kept us in Jordan. You know what I'm saying? As a kid, like from like when I was one to probably like 11, you know what I'm saying? I stayed in Jordans, all the Jordans, me, all my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Me and all my brothers matching with the Jordans. You probably got on Jordans with the FUBU jersey. Everybody you know with the saying? same colorway? Like, shit like that. Same colorway because yeah. they just came out. But of then course. my dad got locked up. And then plus, like, you know, like, when I turned 13, you know, I started heading towards the streets. Grades wasn't good. Right. You know how it go. Then my old man got locked up. So now I'm, you know what I'm saying? I love Reebok to death. But I had to get two for 89 Reebok soldiers and shit and couldn't get to Jordans. Plus, now I'm wearing a size 12 in the eighth grade. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They ain't Nothing wrong size. with the Reeboks, Max, though. Oh, I love Reeboks. <laughs> I'm from the South. Now I said Reebok soldiers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, okay then. Man, I know what the fuck going on with you, boy. I be seeing you with them collabs now. <laughs> you know I'm <laughs> but then, like, you know, I got caught up. I had to get a job. So I'm working at Panera Bread. Imagine Max so hey. came in Panera Bread working, but I want them damn five red fives. Because <laughs> I ain't had shoes in so damn long. Need them. You right. You know what I'm saying? I shit, I got fired from there. I was working at Walmart, overnight stalker. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Just to get the shoes. And then rap called me, so I'm here. But Amen. hell yeah, the appreciation came from where you gotta work and get them your damn self. And you spoil nice. your whole damn life getting them. If you it's want the different. fire red right. Jordans, you gotta work at the firecracker stand to get the money. Exactly. But see, that was it more is. of a jug, cause we was ripping his ass off. <laughs> firecracker, you know what I'm saying? I ain't proud of that shit. But, look, but man, like, We'll work for like three weeks like slaves, and he tried to give us 200. But shout out <laughs> right. Phil, though. That's my boy. Okay. You know? We're sorry, <laughs> Phil. Max, so I also want to ask, weren't you into restoring sneakers at one point? X. How did that go? X. X. Yeah, I'm talking, bro. I was on Nike talking all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it started with like the whole dip set movement back in the day. They just had the Afro <laughs> shirts, and then like they used to have like the premium forces. Ice little, cube. You know what I'm saying? Like the mangoes, yeah. watermelon, the ice cubes. Or oh, Force Air ones with the gum bottom? You know it. So I couldn't always get them so I could get some all whites and I could paint and make them look just like that. So that's how the restoring mm. came. You mentioned Nike Talk briefly. You know, I think you come from the same era of sneakers that, that we all come from. How important was Nike Talk to you in you becoming a sneakerhead? Man, it was important because it let me know what the fuck was going on. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? At that time period, I went from dressing like Young Jeezy and Tall Tees and six months later, I'm in goddamn 10 deep snapbacks. There we go. Like, quick yeah. like that. So like, 
that transition was crazy and like niggas was rocking off a Dodger and wallet chain yep. and skull Powerful shit. You had the, 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 the LV pouch? On the, on I was yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't rocking with that. I was more like shit. I like this BBC. I like bait. Right. The hundreds. Motherfucker, yeah. Acapulco Gold, like back to street over streetwear. You feel me? Fairfax is on fire. Hell yes. I was talking to a sneakerhead the other day, a little young nigga. I asked him about a soul swap, and he called me an old nigga. It's like, nobody <laughs> does that no more. A soul swap. Oh, wow. You had to bust out the seagull wow. on him. So let me ask you this, Max. So when you went to, first got a chance to go to New York, for me, coming up in Atlanta, um, I, I love streetwear. I mean, I love clothes, you know, shoes, all that. And when I first, like, uh, got to go to New York and just shop for myself, I felt like I went to Flight Club and uh, died in there, went to Supreme and died in there. Like, what was that experience for you? Man, it was the same thing, you know what I'm saying? But my first time going to New York Flight Club, I walked in there window shopping like a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit was just, you know what I'm saying? One day. But it's these boutiques. I had met this little Asian lady. She had yep. a crazy oh, yeah. boutique. OG Ma. OG Ma. OG so, Ma. Unique. And what? Yeah. And I had a show in Jersey that same night. When I tell you, me and the whole gang went bait crazy, everything crazy, because we don't have nothing you like were banging that. banging on your in chest? Houston. Nah, I was, <laughs> I was banging <laughs> on my chest. But like, being in Texas, I ain't going to say that we country. But you know what I'm saying? Yeehaw. Being in the South, it's not as much media. Like New York, you got motherfucking RCA down the street, Sony down the street, LA, you got Interscope, that down the street. You don't really got that in Houston. Getting on Say Cheese to a, a underground Houston nigga is like getting signed. You feel me? Shout out to Houston Addicts, huh? Max, so you had mentioned going to Flight Club, but did you ever resell sneakers yourself? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that's the reason, that was the whole reason why I was waiting in line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to rock, you know what I'm saying? And wanting to, you know what I'm saying, stop. But then after a while, I just realized like, I dress so much, like all that keeping shoes dead stock is dead. I like busting my shoes, I don't give a damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if the fragments, $5,000, that's how much they're worth, I'm a bust them. All right. You mentioned how growing up in Houston, there wasn't a lot. As far as I know, there's no Supreme store on Spice Lane. There's no Supreme in A-Leaf. But um, have, have you seen the sneaker scene in Houston get bigger? Hell hey, yeah. Yeah. I think it's one of the biggest sneaker scenes, bro. Give me your top five stores in, in Houston for sneakers. Where should you um, somebody, somebody go? Somebody watching this show, Max or Cream will let you know what, should, what stores to go to right now. Sneaker Summit store. You got Houston Closet, Petty Cash. Bam. Damn, I won't leave nobody out. At the back, yeah, but premium that's for like goods? new releases. Premium goods for sure, but that's for new releases. I'm talking about like resign, yeah. consignment. Resell and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, premium goods going to be more you waiting outside the line. You're going to get them, and then after that, they gone. Are you waiting in line, like, or you get to skip the line? Man, I pay with me. I pay. I, I pay over. I ain't waiting no damn line okay. no more, man. <laughs> I ain't tripping. I feel that. Max, so being that you have like genuine history in the sneaker game, you see a lot of artists nowadays who try to kind of brand themselves as sneakerheads. They'll buy shoes and post them on Instagram to kind of get the blogs to, you know, pick them up and post them. How do you feel about other artists that kind of try to manufacture that sneaker hype around themselves? I let them folks work their work. Shit, you know, if that's what they doing, that's their little marketing thing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't here to like tell another black man what not to do to get money because we all come from, you know what I'm saying, different circumstances, but shit. I know where I am, I'm Maxo Cream. Like I got a K in Cream, that stands for kicks, rule everything around me. We was really a sneaker crew before all the other bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So This dude dropped a mixtape called Retro Card, like. Oh God. Oh God. You know I let them do them, but shit, you know the real ones. Speaking of a real one, uh, ROG Bun B, you signed some sneakers for him. When you get respect from Bun B, <coughs> you get it in two aspects. You get it from, obviously, as in hip hop, but then you also get the respect from his sneakers because he's held it down in both. How is that feeling or whatever? And then the second question is, has Bun ever helped you get some sneakers? Yeah, I had ran into Bun at the H-Town Sneaker Summit, which was one of the biggest sneaker summits in the world. You know what I'm saying? Amen. He had on side of me. I think it was the Supreme Low Top Dunk. Red joints. And like he had me sign them. I'm like, he's, this man is crazy. crazy. This man is crazy. He letting me sign yeah. his shoe, bro. And Bum B, like, really an OG in his sneaker. Like, of course. You know Big what I'm fact. saying? Like, like really, Houston got a really, like, I don't like, I feel like Houston like a real sneakerhead city from Bum B, Max O'Cream, Don Tolliver, Travis Scott. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit we own, you feel me? So to get right. that from like Bum B, that mm. shit meant a lot. Has he ever helped you get any sneakers? Oh, nah. He ain't helped me get no shoe though. Okay. So Bun, cool. if you watching, yeah, you know what I'm saying, feel free to send me, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> send a right pack, Bun. Send a pack. 
Maxwell, you had mentioned earlier your mixtape retro card. This dude dropped a mixtape called Retro Card. You know, growing up, you were fans of rappers like the Cool Kids and Dom Kennedy, who all kind of had a connection to sneaker culture. Do you feel like your connection to sneakers kind of helped your rap career early on? Hell yeah. yeah. I feel like it did. Just to be honest, man, I feel like me busting sneakers and and like rocking Supreme brought me a lot of white kids. So nice. I feel like, yeah, that definitely had a big role, you know? Maxwell, I got to ask you, now that we're nearing the end of the year, almost done with November, do you have a pick for sneaker of the year? Do you have a favorite release from 2020? Um, I'm putting you on the spot, so if not, you can't. It, it's fine. But that, that always happens. It's like, bro, I don't know all these shoes that came out. I'm trying to think. It's so much shit, but man, like my favorite shoe that came out so far is the Union Fours. Well, I was like, I wear them hoes so much. You cut the tongue? Yeah, I did one of them. I look at I you. I kept one up, I kept one down. <laughs> you on your LL, you know you on your LL shit. <laughs> on guys, like when I got <laughs> the shoe, I like, oh, this shit ugly. Let me flip it up. But while I'm doing it, I'm like, bro, am I fucking up the value of the shoe? Like, let's say if I wanted to sell these, can I get the same amount of money because I cut the tongue? Cause ain't that fucking up the shoe? It's fucking up the tongue. Right. It's okay. a tongue fuck. Okay. But man, so far, I don't know, man. I had to say the Guava 4s. I like the um, Travis Scott PlayStation Dunks. Crazy. I don't want to leave nothing out because there's so much shit that came out. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. We'll, we'll, put, a, we'll put a long list. A lot. Max, so every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week as decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week, it is wealthy for saying that Spice Adams only played eight seasons when, in fact, he played nine. You played eight seasons in the Nine! <laughs> Get him. Nine! Wealthy, do you want to make an excuse before you go put on your poor shoes? <laughs> oh, I boy. fucked up. I should have I sh I double-checked it. No excuses. Okay, switching out the shoes. Please tell us in the comments if you heard that distinction this week, and you'll punish Woo! me next week. Wealthy, what do you got here? What are those? There definitely ain't no turkey. <laughs> they say off. I think these are a little off. Looking radioactive. Uh, off Balenciagas. Bro, them look like some S. Doc Carter slash Balenciaga. I don't know what you got going, my boy. Homer Simpson nasty. skin tone. Those are nasty. Mm, mm, mm. Max, so we also do a segment on the show called Drip Flip or Skip. Uh, drip meaning, you know, it looks good. Flip meaning that you resell it and skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. First shoe and drip flipper skip, my brother, is gonna be the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red with the Nike Air on the back. Man, you know I'm gonna drip them. I actually got the um the um laser ones like that, but the bottom oh, cracked laser. on me. I don't know, man. If y'all know anybody in the LA area that do soul swaps, I'm gonna pop You do soul swaps. You're the you're the restoration <laughs> I'm guy. Not good. I'm not good, man. <laughs> I would have paid professional. Listen, man, I, I see the vision, Max. So, you know, fire red Jordans like I'm walking with the devil. My for... boy, hey, how long, how long time have My boy, you been on your shit all day. Man. Come on. <laughs> you been on your shit all day, man. I see you, man. Look all year. Him. All Look year. Listen, him. he's got the Nike Look Air on the back. They are obviously a good shoe, but I'm not going to try too hard for them. If they fall into my lap, I'm with it. But otherwise, I'm going to skip. When they come out, I'll be doing other things, you know, eating tofurkey leftovers. So I'm, I'll be too busy. Not a Jordan guy, but I do like Jordan 4s, uh, as you guys know. Got the, got, hey. the, got the black lasers here. Quick flex. Look at Max, oh, if, I see. If, you're, if you're a size 11, maybe we can crazy. make something work. Um, <laughs> He's ready to resell I, right now. Damn, hell no, I'm a 12. All right. <laughs> these are a drip. Uh, these are one of the few Jordans okay. that I, I think I could wear these, so it's a drip. Nice, 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 nice. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a drip for me. I would have a Nike Air on the back. Like I said, it's nothing to go try hard for. I feel like I'll walk into or somewhere and they just have them sit on the wall and just grab a pair for retail. Not a penny over. No, sir. Shoe number two, Nike Kobe 5, Bruce Lee. Now talk to me, Mr. Cream. Are we participating in this or, or not? Man, you know we're dripping for Kobe. Are you crazy? We're dripping. We're dripping for Kobe. Okay. Why does all these shoes go with Persona, man? It's pers Where can we get Persona at? You get some Persona at Persona.World right now. The trap is open. Shout out my brother, Don C. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy, man. Love it. Love it. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on before I go to. Shout out my boy, Joe Fresh Goods, too, yes. man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Joe Fresh Goods. The craziest. The cra oh, oh. Ooh, know, look at him. While I'm back rocking, you know what I'm saying? That's you know, how you coming, okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep Streetwear Street again, man. Let's bring the real Streetwear back and not have these folks politic our shit. Let, I'm, when I'm talking about real Streetwear, I'm talking about like FUBU and Iceberg Streetwear type shit, man. Let's get this shit back. I love it. 
in the same vein, uh, I just wouldn't wear it, but I feel like it's sacrilegious to resell Kobe sneakers, you know, given all that respect to him. So it's just a skip. I'll let a real Kobe fan go and get the shoes. Yeah, I feel the same way. I, this is a good shoe. I can't, I can't debate that, but I'm going to get out of the way and let the hardcore Kobe fans get them. So personally, I'm skipping. Yeah, I'm not skipping them. I want those. Those are drip. I never had them. I want the white pair. I need them. I want to hoop in them. Actually, I really, really love the Kobe 5. I don't have many pairs. I probably only have one or two, but I wouldn't mind having more. It's just it's a good hooping shoe. Invite me to the game. Oh, of course. No worries. Moving forward, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Powerwall Lemonade. These come in a few different colors. Mr. Cream, how you feel about these? Drip flipper skip. Mm, I ain't really rocking with them. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely flip them. I wouldn't just totally skip them, because you know what I'm saying? It's something you could probably put something together, but I just dripping. don't see myself dripping in them. I feel that. Talk to me, Welty. Contrary to what some of our uh, coworkers, not you guys, might say, this is an important shoe. Um, it's good to see it come back. These sneakers used to resell for like over $500 in Europe, so it's good for people to get them on the low. Let me ask Drip. you this, why they're an important shoe, Welty? It's just there's like a huge Air Max hype in in places like Amsterdam, you know, with like Para Air Max Ones. These all came out in 2005 yeah. in the Powerwall pack. They were pretty limited, so uh, the collectors out there wanted to get their hands on them. Okay, respect. Thank you for that knowledge, sir. Brendan Dunn, Drip Flipper Skip, sir. Talk listen, to me. Listen, man, I'm waiting on the Air Max O one. When can we get that? Hey. <laughs> oh. That boy trying man, to work you know on the saying? PR team. Put that boy on the Persona team. What? Yeah, nah, I definitely, I definitely for sure. <laughs> Set up the meeting. Um, listen, until that happens, I'm gonna call that a skip. Uh, no lemonade for me, but I do like some lemon banana, so I may do a sip on that, but I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I could pass on these. Um, I, I, I thank you, uh, Wealthy, for that knowledge, but I, I don't need it. It still doesn't do anything for my soul or spirit. So I would, it's like you guys stepped out of the way of the Kobe, I step out of the way so the real Air Max 1 fans for these, they can have these. Max, I got to ask you, when you do get your own shoe, because we're going to manifest it, you're going to get your own shoe, what would that be? I don't know, like, man. Air Max 01. Man, I don't know. I always, like, been, like, a big, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dreams are always just do collabs. So, like, I wouldn't, like, you know what I'm saying, want to go make my shoe. And then, I then, like, I don't love it. But I love Jordan, so I love to have, like, the Persona colorway, like, Persona 4, Persona 1, Persona, like, the Persona Air Force 1, the Persona Air Max, do, like, a lot of collabs with Nike, you know what I'm saying, and get that going. But as far as creating a shoe, that'll be further down the line, you know what I'm saying? But if I create a shoe, I want to love it. I'm going to be real. I don't know if, if I create a shoe right now, if I'm going to love it. We also do outfits on here, Maxo, and um, it's no better outfits to do than goddamn Maxo Cream Mother... Outfits. Outfit number one. For sure. Uh, there he is. Yeah, you okay. know, Ace Town Summer. Supreme okay. shirts, money, Travis Scott. <laughs> what shirt summer. did you have on? <laughs> did you ever have on so, a shirt? Yeah, so um that came with a top. You know what I'm saying? It was like a um it was a full set. Like a poncho, like a like a track jacket poncho, you know what I'm saying? Shout out round two, Sean Witherspoon, you know what I'm saying? Hey. That's why I copped right, it from Sean, but Sean. This is just like a normal Maxo fit, Supreme fit with some um, Travis Scott. This is normal Maxo fit, no shirt? Yeah, for sure. Okay. It's, they still let you in Whataburger with no shirt? Hell yeah. Okay. They love me. <laughs> hey, there it is. So, I mean, I got to ask, drip, flip, or skip? Drip, for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> Brandon, talk to me. Listen, he's holding in bands and he is paying taxes, and that's what we love to see. So this is a drip. But also, Maxo... The Travis Scott Jordan 1's on. Did you get those straight from the man himself? Thank you for bringing up this segment. You know what I'm saying? Bringing this up for the fourth time, Travis. Where is my friends and family shoes, my boy? There it is, ladies from and gentlemen. SBs. I need the purple. I need the purple four. Travis. Travis. You know what I'm saying? But, Chase. Somebody yeah. throw us a line. Yeah. Perplex. For sure. But you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Travis. Shout out Chase B to my boys. But now nah, I bought those too because I'm a real nigga and I like shoes and, and like I'm a support. You feel me? So I'm going to for sure support. So I'm not going to wait on him to give me a shoe. If I want it, I'm going to go grab it. <laughs> Given that little tidbit, I'm going to flip these just like Travis did the swoosh until he sends you a pair of his, <laughs> one of his sneaker collabs. <laughs> I'm going drip, bro. Shirt off means damn near the biggest confidence that you can ever have outside of your Come house. On, so I'm going Thanks. drip, okay? With the big Benz truck, okay? <laughs> like that. Outfit number two. Wham! Put that shit on. Fly Cripper. Let go. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, Talk this is the um, Rock Nation Rock. brunch ensemble. You got the sad blue bandana suit 
but not two blue bandana, but you, you know what I'm saying? Then I did it with the Jordan, um, with the sad one. one. Sad. You know, they dropped the active athlete. Of course. In Houston, of one course. of the places that got them. So, you know, I had to do that. Even though, you know, Jaden was like, you know, come with the dress shoes, man. Hey, man, I'm busting your sneakers now. If you're going to do sneakers with the suit, you got to come with it. Maxo, how's yeah. the food at the Rock Nation brunch? Man, they had some, um, was it truffle motherfucking Ooh. pasta? That shit was cracked. <laughs> hmm. That shit was cracked. You yeah. took a Tupperware and well, took something so to go? Drunk. Nah, see, I got home training. My mama get on my ass. Like, nah, bro, go there. Don't be taking nothing. Okay. Don't be taking nothing from Jay-Z and Beyonce home, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get Amazing. on my ass. I ain't rocking like that. Brendan, talk to me. Listen, this me. man said the only time I wear a suit and tie is if I'm at a funeral or a court trial. But but oh, here, room for trial. here we are. We got the we got the suit on because we're at the Rock Nation brunch and that's a big glow up. I'm calling it a drip. This uh R.I.P. Nipsey Hustle, who was a guest on our show, who said drip flip or crip. Um gotta Ooh. go. <laughs> yeah. gotta, gotta show love like to Got to show love to Nipsey on that RIP. It's a trip. I would just want to ask, though, did you run up and take, like, the selfie with Jay, like a lot of people do at the brunch, or did you, like, keep it cool? Even when I came to Rock Nation, you know what I'm saying, I met with Jay twice. You know what I'm saying? I never took a picture with Jay, because why? like, I know I fuck with Jay. You know what I'm saying? I know I take Jay and shit like that. I feel like, if everybody know that I'm with Rock Nation, like, like I don't need that clout. Like, oh, look. And max up with Jay. Now, nah, nigga, let me, you know what I'm saying, really put on, you know what I'm saying, change my motherfucking family, you know what I'm saying, really get generational wealth. You got the truffle pasta, that's what's important. No, oh, I really God. respect that. And it was going down. You know, I mean, come on, man. This is big, 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 big drip, okay? Straight like that. Good show. Last but not least in outfits. Ooh. Ooh. What is the idea behind Persona? Tell me. Persona is damn near like, you know what I'm saying, drip, fan sauce. But you know what I'm saying? It's my persona with it. Your persona is what you do, but like how you do it. Like Trinidad James, you have a persona. Cause nobody could do it and drip how you do it, how you do it. And I understand it and I see it. So you know what, what I'm saying? Me? That's your persona. It's not the persona, man. Cause you you know what I'm saying? Because you ten toes with your rebot. Okay. You don't go against no hype. You ain't gonna like you, you know what I'm saying? Now you gotta do wealthy next. Well, you know, I watched the show, my boy. Your persona be something. I'll be like, I don't know what's going on with you, my boy. You know what I'm saying? But we rocking though. You know what I'm saying? Yo, wow. your ass gonna learn, Thanks, your ass gonna get better, man. But I'm rocking with you <laughs> because you rock with me on the little dripping flip. You did a, 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 a flip for me. So, yeah. <clears throat> Perplexed. So I must ask you, drip flipper skip, my brother. Oh, you know that's drip. Wealthy. You talked about creating generational wealth. I feel like flipping these MCA shoes could help me <laughs> could help me do that. This could be a serious investment. So I think the as, as much as the outfit is a drip, I want to flip those sneakers. Okay, Brendan Dunn, talk to me. Uh, I like the outfit, but I'm gonna call it a skip for me personally because if I walk around Happy Homes looking like this, I feel like I might get into trouble. So for me, this is skip. <laughs> you not gonna walk around looking like that, man? Okay. You good, man? You gotta let them know, like, hey, man. Maxo Shanks, like, you know what I'm saying? He, Maxo Shanks. Well, don't do that boy okay. like that. You know don't do that boy like that. The show. It might be dicey. But see, but if I put you under my umbrella, you can't be out there, you know what I'm saying, at the six nines. You got to keep it real clear, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Okay. We, got we're going to set that up. And six feet apart. Facts. Those are this. Maxo, there before we get is. out of here for the day, we want to breeze through the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past Well, it's a drip for me, Brandon. It's a drip for me. Excuse me. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Which is always a fun time. We have one from Monique Alvarado saying, I don't got to be a sneakerhead to appreciate a badass show. Keep killing it. Loving all the women guests. Looking forward to seeing more. We're looking forward to booking more. Thank you, Monique. We have one from The Reap420 saying, Broke my back a few weeks back. You guys have been keeping me entertained while off my feet. Can still walk, just Jeez. healing. Thanks, God. Sure for the good views, boys. Love from New Zealand. Thank you to all our fans in New Zealand and that part of the world. We have Oscar Leone saying, Nothing beats getting home on a Thursday afternoon, getting high with the sunset, and watching Full Size Run. Thank you, Oscar. And with that, we are riding off into the sunset. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James. And this was Max O'Cream with us here. Persona in stores now. Hey, Max O'Cream. Go get the Persona shorts. Persona, Persona dot world. You know what I'm saying? Cyber Monday okay. coming. You know what I'm saying? It's going down, man. Stay tuned. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Love Thanksgiving. to all you and your families. Stay Thank safe. You for watching.
She want every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Ah, another episode. Here we are. We got another hit, Trinidad. How do you feel about it? Incredible, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because we love you and we do. You love us. Yeah, there's another button. We need you hit the download button. Download the Soul Collector app. It is the best marketplace for finding the best prices on all the sneakers you're looking for. But speaking of marketplaces, go to shop.complex.com and buy all the merch, all the gear, everything you want. We all we ask is so precious little. Give us all the money.